Hello and welcome to the Katia Dimensioning Drawings lesson. In this lesson, I'll show you how to set up your page, do some general dimensions and tolerancing, add datums, and complete your drawing. I'm going to start by opening up our previous drawing template of the block project. My first step is going to change the scale of our isometric view by right-clicking and going to Properties. Here, I'm going to scale it by one half and click OK. That way we've just got a small detail view. Now I'm going to start dimensioning my drawings. Going over here to the dimensions drop down, you can see we have many choices, but the easiest for this block is just clicking on the dimensions tab. Here I can add dimensions such as from here to here, and then going back over here, clicking on again, go from here to here. You can notice these dimensions aren't in inches. So with one selected, go up here to the top where it says num.dimm, select inch. Now it looks correct. To add a tolerance to this, click to select our dimension again. From here, select our tolerancing, in this case, there, which is just the format. Then we can either select our tolerancing from the menu, or we can put it in ourselves. If for some reason we'd like our arrow directions changed, click on the arrows and they click and change from inside to outside. For circular dimensioning, under the Dimensioning drop-down tab, you can select Diameter or Radius. In this case, I'll do Diameter, and select your circle. Now click and drag it to your point, and again, select Inch. For some multiple dimensions, it might be necessary to add a datum. To do that, you can find it under the Datum button, and now you select your datum placement. And you can name it whatever you would prefer. To change the way this dimension is displayed for a whole or a general circular object, right click on the dimension, enter properties. Go up to dimension line and deselect the second symbol. Click OK. Now you only have one of your symbols visible for your dimensioning. For some holes that are more detailed, like these up top, it becomes necessary to add a text box. We're going to start by adding an arrow. I'm going to zoom in select our outer diameter. Once that's completed, we can adjust the placement of our arrow like this. And now can change what it's called by using the text editor from the text button on the right. To add symbols such as depth or counter sinks or diameter in the text box go to the insert symbols and here enter your directions Once you're satisfied, click OK. Now your hole is fully called out. For information that's not needed by using the text command, enter properties of your dimension, go to dimension texts, and here 
you can add things such as diameters or multiple callouts. Section views can be applied by going to the section view tab and defining your cutting line. You have to double click your line to finish it. Now position your cutaway view and that is your section view of your product. However, for this part we don't need the section view so you can click on it and just press delete. Finally, general properties such as line shapes or arrow shapes can be edited by clicking on the line, again entering properties, and here you can determine what type or thickness you'd like. Click OK and it applies it to your drawing. That concludes the CATIA basic dimensioning lesson.